Hello, human beings. Hello, hello, hello. Looks like there's a little over 100 people logging into the various pages. Hi, my name is Peter Mulvey. For those of you who have logged into the Pamela Means page or the Willie Porter page or the, uh, or the uh, Cafe Cart page. Hello, everybody. And uh, welcome to the Lamplighter Sessions, the Cafe Carp Lamplighter live stream. Um, this is something that we've done at the Cafe Carp for the past 14 years. Uh, gotten together with our friends in the round in a, a beautiful little intimate living, uh, living space and uh, music room, the back room at the Cafe Carp. And um, uh, unfortunately, as you know, this year has gone right out the window, but we're going to be, for the next four nights, we're going to be uh, uh, doing the Lamplighter sessions virtually. So I'm going to bring on two dear friends of mine whom I met in the 1990s, right at the beginning of the 90s. I met both of these people in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where we're from. Um, at the time, we were all fairly local musicians. And in the intervening 30 years, uh, all of us, uh, we were five years old when we met, so now we're about 35, each of us, and we've all played all over this uh, beautiful world. And uh, so would you please welcome Ms. Pamela Means and Mr. Willie Porter. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you for joining me. This is fantastic. God, it's good to see you. It's super weird. <laughs> hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. It's great to see you, Pamela. Peter, you look spry. Thank Think you. You're well. Yeah, it's great. Oh, uh, my God. You knocked my headphones off with spry. <laughs> <laughs> well, look out, because Pamela, I was going to say, you look pretty swell. And I figured that might <laughs> knock your headphones off, too. Yeah. So, oh, you know, luckily... Deep. Luckily, we don't have Bill Camplin to do an introduction. So uh, <laughs> what I figure I'll do is um, those of you who those of you who have seen a bunch of Cafe Carp shows, if you would just, I don't know, just put a little uh, mescaline through an injection into the left side <laughs> of your carotid <laughs> artery and then uh, uh, imagine sort of ed begley jr mixed with rasputin the monk and there you have a bill camplin introduction uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> with well, a little bit with a dash of yogi berra thrown in that's I true would say. that's true yeah just a little and, and, a, and a dash of yoda so kind of a yoda berra thing uh, yeah that's it exactly yeah yeah all right well i'm gonna get us started we're gonna do uh we're gonna do songs in the round so um I'm going to get us started, so I'm going to banish you guys to the backstage and sing a song, and then uh, I'll bring Pamela Means on, and we'll go. For, we'll just go round robin from there. And uh, God, all right, all right, everybody, pay attention now to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is called Fool's Errand, and um, Pamela Means is in this song. Wow, I see we have about 170 people between the various sites. Uh, if all 170 of you hit the share button right now, we might be able to double that in the next five minutes uh, for when Pamela comes on. On an island in the sound, another friend is sleeping by a wood stove up inside the hills. I'm in a city in the lowland, I got coffee in the maker and a pick of my guitar. Let the whole day do what it will. Well, just about the moment that you figure out it's all going way too fast. Make a use of stop and take a look around. See if you can tell if you would know what you know. Long time ago. My father was a studio baker, rolled on a rainy stretch of road. 
my mother was lilacs carried on a breeze. My brother would bike with a banana seat, a baseball bat, a book of Greek myth, a pair of jeans with holes in the knees. There one spring day, the pretty girls with the long hair, the pigeons in the town square, the fair green hills, blue sky above, longing for a little gap of desert down below. But I left town on a fool's errand a long time ago. Everything and thinking about the baby that you used to be in an old photograph. This is all a long goodbye to everything you thought you had to be, and when you can't cry, some fool will tell you that you gotta laugh. Oh, but when the moment comes, you got to step it up and learn to sing your brand new tune. Your secret heart comes through. You got to find your way back to the place that you remember, and it's burning like a fire in the Fool's errand, didn't you? I left town on a fool's errand too. I guess we all three left town on a fool's errand a long time ago. Very much. That was called Fool's Errand. And uh, here is my dear friend Pamela Means. Hi, Pamela Means. <laughs> oh, man. All right. What do you got for us? What happens now? Uh, I'm going to play a song. Excellent. From my new album. Oh. And where can humans find Pamela Means and the Reparations? Uh, on all the things. On oh. all the things. All right. I'm turning you over to all the things. We're here at live in spirit at the Cafe Carp. Uh, this is a, a song called James Madison, a co-write with the fourth president. He wrote the chorus uh, a couple hundred years ago, and I'm just explaining it all for you. <laughs> Hello, Susan Frazier. And Ruth Ann Riker T. Taylor. I'm not going to play now. I'm just going to read messages, I guess. Founding fathers, free spirit men, some grew hemp on the plantations. All had slaves, they didn't free them. All had slaves and some raped them. Jimmy James Madison didn't give two flips about anyone. Pokes manifest destiny, didn't work out for the Cherokee. Jimmy James, he said, the purpose of the government is to protect the minority from the opulent, from the majority. Two-party systems seem like one goal to the top and the rest on wriggly raggedy rungs. We got the money, we got the guns, we got greed and idiocy and embarrassment to everyone with any sense of decency. The 
purpose uh, of the government is to protect the minority of the opulent from the majority. The purpose uh, of the government is to protect the minority of the opulent from the majority. Two-party systems seem like one goal to the top, and I already sang that verse. <laughs> Prime perverse police populations, prisons populate, prophets, predictions, politicians salivate. Ellsberg, Manning, Snowden, Davis, heroes and dissidents, we all could use a daily dose of civil disobedience. We all could use a daily dose of civil disobedience. The purpose of the government is to protect the minority of the opulent from the majority. The purpose of the government is to protect the minority of the opulent from the majority. Bravo. <laughs> Thank you. Willie. Bravo. What Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> what a wonderful chorus and what a great thing to pull that in and bring that forward. You know? Thanks, Willie. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm 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 excited but shy to play a game with you because you're gonna see all the things that I've tried to steal from you. Uh, so, <laughs> dark, so. I stole them from someone else. That's how it all works. <laughs> it's all good. Did we lose our? Did we lose the key master of Gozer here, Mr. Malvin? Oh, no, I'm here. I'm just. I'm just trying to figure out how to do the captions. But sing us a song, William Porter. That's that's our move. Ah, here I here I go. <laughs> all right, huzzah! <laughs> Great to get to be here with these two rapscallion raconteurs. Mm, she's got a fist in the wind, rolling through our town. Past the boarded windows, autumn leaves are churning around. Kids are in the back seat, smearing food on the glass. She just lets it happen, I saw her smiling through her mask. Kids learn from love, that's true, to make ends meet somehow. Yeah, that's all that matters now. He never thought he'd reach the window when the ball hit the bat. He didn't hide behind the wall when everybody ran. He walked up and took the blame, said it's my fault after all. Man said, son, you got a hell of a swing, and he gave him back his ball. So don't worry about the window, I was going to replace it anyhow. The truth is all that matters now. The world is full of dreamers out on the street today. The 
gold in their hearts they freely give away but the kingdom is on fire yeah the king will burn it down he cares not for his subjects but only for his crown and that's all Climb the Aztec steps to the pyramid of the sun. Let the moonlight wash our faces like those before have done. As you read from Baudelaire in a sweet Spanish tongue. Come on, meet me there, my darling, for the setting of the sun. Now it's time for dreamers to reclaim the higher ground. Yeah, that's all that matters now. Willis Porter. Hey, hey, hey. Good day. Thanks, hear that. amigo. Oh, Gracias, man. amigo. Beautiful. You are the uh, you're the only, you're the you're in Milwaukee at this very moment, aren't you? I am. I'm in the place where both of you are from, and yeah. both of you have fled our town. And I just want to. <laughs> I just want to ask, why? Oh, why? Oh, why did you do it? <laughs> no. Well, now for oh. that, we're going to have to go all the way back to Reconstruction. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I put Savannah Welch Camplin's uh, comment up there because. She is tuning in from her home in Portland, Oregon. She's uh, she's the daughter of Bill and Kitty who run the carp. And uh, oh. oh, someone is asking a beautiful guitar. Is it named? So the yeah, the one is Dragon. This is Dragon. And who made that guitar? This was built by Kevin Miterman yeah. and um, from North Dakota. And um, so thank you. I'm glad somebody likes it. It's it's That's um good i'm stuff. lucky to have it lucky to have it ah well i'm gonna i have a tune we got about 11 12 inches of snow here in western massachusetts and so i'm gonna this tune has been on my mind we we adopted a dog this um this june and she's three years old she's from georgia and so she had never seen snow and uh, oh. we open. I know she got up this morning, and we like open the door. There's like twelve inches of snow, and she just went, "Nope." <laughs> <Just> <laughs> turned around and went back to the fire. So really, that she understood it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "This is terrible." Anyway, uh, all right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play this one here. I'm sending please. you guys to the ether. And uh, this I wrote this while I was living in Fort Atkinson. Um, I spent a, a year living at the uh, uh, living in uh, in Fort and going for walks at Homerson Pond and uh, this tune arose out of a note that I wrote uh, just uh, reporting the events of the day. This is called the Fox and it's uh, the first tune on my record. Uh, there is another world, which came out a couple years back on Righteous Babe Records. By the way, um, I've taken a piece of paper and sort of strung it through the string, so that's why the guitar sounds so odd.
I was afraid the fox had moved on. I was afraid the fox had moved on. But after last night's storm. Last night's storm. Her fresh tracks. Her fresh tracks in the snow. Her fresh tracks in the snow. Her fresh tracks. The snow. All right, that's my little haiku. It's called the fox. I should also let you guys know um, there are all kinds of PayPal uh, um, and Venmo. Uh, 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 links here, like um, there's Pamela Means's info, there's my info, there's Willie Porter's info, um, and you're encouraged and welcome to to give to any of those because we're basically going to take all the money and throw it into a pot and split it four ways and divide it between the Cafe Carp and the three artists, uh, and we'll be doing that each night for the next uh, for the next four nights uh, because uh, we're trying to create this sort of little communal and f and financial life draft so that we can all get through this uh so we thank you and also if you cannot donate that's fine please just tune in anyway someone else will get you or we'll get you some other time or whatever like the main thing is that you know we all miss live music terribly and so we're all just banding together here and allow me to bring on my friend pamela means how you doing? I'm good. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, I have a theory about the three of us who are on the bill tonight, and that, and also one who is not here, which is, who is Patty Larkin. Oh yeah. And that we are all p p percussive players, and we all have P's in our names. Every one of us. Yep. True fact. Are you hearing like a whole bunch of popping and interference? Okay, good. So it's just on my end. Well, cool. Um, I'm going to turn this over to you, but I like your theory. I like your theory. Yeah. And probably with the, you know, varying levels of repression from. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah, have at them. Um, so my reasons for leaving Milwaukee are vast and plentiful, and I discuss them regularly in talk therapy <laughs> i'll give you a hint this fly dome caused me some problems on the streets of milwaukee and waukesha wisconsin you know what i'm saying so i had to split the only thing is that uh there i left many people that i love in wisconsin when i left and i miss them some of them have gone on to uh, even greater greens than Wisconsin. Some are still there making the place, making the city a, a lovelier place to be. Uh, so here is my little, this is, this is a short song, so be ready. Willie Porter, who's next? This is the newest song I wrote, and it's called um, Time to Tear It All Down. <clears throat> So it's sort of a two minute uh, dissertation on um, what I think about shit, you know what I'm talking about? So here we go. This was requested this evening by my favorite, one of my favorite humans in the world, certainly my favorite seven year old, a little person named Zen in Atlanta, Georgia. So I'm gonna play this for Zen and everybody who's working for a better future.
That's absolutely true, that fun fact. <laughs> All right. My country, tis of thee, what's the matter with you? Handing out liberty for the privileged few. No justice for the rest of us, you've been crooked and cruel. Time to tear it all down and build something new. Time to tear it all down and build something true. We've been saying it for years, now the video shows it. Reason for rage and tears and fears, now everybody knows it. No more thoughts and prayers, rhetoric is through. Truth and reconciliation, reparations are due. My country, tis of thee, let me holler at you. A plenty opportunity for the privileged few. No justice for the rest of us. You've been crooked and cruel. Time to tear it all down and build something new. Time to tear it all down and build something true. My country, tis of thee, let me holler at you. A plenty opportunity for the privileged few. Roadblock for black, brown, poor, you've been callous and cruel. Time to tear it all down and build something new. Time to tear it all down and build something new. Hello, everybody. So it looks like, all right, Willie Porter has gone to get a new guitar, and we are hearing, the audience apparently is hearing some of this static. So I don't know what is up with that, but uh, it's- I'm not again. sure either. And I, I thought, yeah, I thought maybe there was a um, microwave oven that was deployed somewhere in our house. It, it does not appear to be the case. Hmm. Um, so I do not know the origins of this popping, my friends. Right. Well, uh, I suggest we sally forth. I suggest we sally forth. <laughs> uh, thank you, by the way. Whatever Pamela that means. means. Pamela means you sound great. I'm so sorry for the pops. Um, we could just be I'm not hearing Peter that. and the pops. We could just be Peter and the pops tonight, which would be cool. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right. All right, take, um, us, take us onward. I'll play you my newest one. I did write one today called Larry Bought a Tractor, but it's not under my hands, so I can't play that one. But I'll play this one. This is called, I wrote it last week, called Change Your Mind. Can you forgive the heart of a stranger For letting you down out of fear? Do you feel safe with your hand on the trigger Even though you know the coast is clear? It doesn't matter what God that you see If you're afraid all the time Put down your weapons and let the music change your mind. We can change our minds. We can change. There's still time. 
Dalai Lama sucked a Zeus and Jesus too. The biggest fight of your life will be you versus you. There is no end to me. Just what you believe. Everyone on this earth deserves to be free. Why do I throw shade on everybody else? For the problems I created, I can only blame myself. Put down your weapons and let the music change your mind. You can change just the time. time. It doesn't matter what God that you see If you're afraid Put down your weapons and let the music change your mind Come on, put down your weapons and step into the sweet sunshine I'm gonna put down my weapons and let the music change my mind. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's a great new tune. Thank you so much. That's a thank you. That's great. Yes. I was both when I was Thank listening you. to both of you play and I was remembering being like in my 20s and hearing you the first time you did a groove like that, what that, 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 that you know, and then <laughs> and also hearing like Pamela, like I know your grooves like the back of my hand, but I remember being young and being like, I'm going to learn to do what Pamela does. Like, I'm going to learn to do what Willie does. And I failed. And that's how I became myself. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's it. The, You're the, a beautiful the, man. The whole thing. I remember when you and I, you and I used to battle over who could tune down lower. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And I, I remember Joe came to me and he said, Joe Panzetta, the great Joe Panzetta, and he goes, you know, Peter's do tuning down to like G and A now. And I was like, what? <laughs> no way. That's not fair. <laughs> that's so great. Oh, that's some good, good shit. stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, um. All right, so what am I doing now? I am gonna play, I had a request for this tune. And so um, I'm gonna play this tune. I'm gonna send you guys back into the ether. By the way, I don't know if you got, uh, if the audience knows this, but the way Restream works, it seems as though we're all streaming from our living room, but actually it creates a, sort of a, a, an ethereal white space, like a Stanley Kubrick white kind of like void and we all live there. It's like a sci-fi movie. And then we get like beamed onto the screen. So, all right, I'm sending these guys back to the void. And uh, this is a... Uh, I had a request from Florida. Um, I know we have Florida and Oklahoma and... California and Massachusetts and Vermont in the house and it occurs to me that while I have you all here when the vaccine finally takes hold in our society and we can all gather and play music I want you all to go to the cafe carp um, 
I want you all to take a road trip to the Cafe Carp in Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin, and see a show there. And the way to, the way to ensure that you're going to do that is that everybody opens a tab right now. And, uh, um, Everybody opens a tab right now and goes to the Cafe Carp Facebook page and hits like and follow so that you can keep up with what they're doing. Uh, there'll be four nights of lamp lighting over the next four nights, and they will open their doors once it is safe to do so, and we're going to all gather in that beautiful back room. So, this is for J.D. Blair and his crew down in Florida, and this is for all of you. This is a request, this is my tune shirt. Light a fire, burn up all you know You've had so much time, time to let things go Now you're burning letters, or letters in the snow in your backyard And now you're 33 It's time for the cross Time for the baldy tree Still you like to cry Couldn't you cry when you skin your knee? Ain't it hard? <coughs> it's the same old friends On New Year's Eve The same snow falls On the same old leaves There's the That's that's such an incredible tune, Pete. Can we just talk about that for just a sec, or are we not allowed to talk? Oh, we're allowed to talk. What do you, what do you, what do you want to know? I just I was in um I was in Oregon and I I did a workshop on songwriting and and that was a uh, this is just some shameless sucking up to the host I guess but I used that that song as an example of of a perfect song. Oh, it's just man. so well written. The Thank melody you, is so great, man. The whole story of it, it Thank just puts you. you in a frame of mind of, of understanding the narrator. The whole thing is just, it's just such a great piece of music, man. Bravo. Thank you. Well, Indeed. I mean, we've, all of us have been writing for so long. Like you just show up 
and you write them all. That's the that's the hardest part, right? Like, is I know mm. the next song I write is going to be, you know, fine. <laughs> you know? And, right. and you have to show up and accept it. You know, like that's. I feel like you buy the you buy your best tunes by expending the more the the sort of like karmic uh, currency of just showing up for every tune showing up like I have tunes that I'm like, well, that's sure. That's okay. But if you show up and you commit and you say, okay, well then this is what I got today. I feel like that's how you earn the good ones. If that makes sense, you know, but I'm a Catholic. I like that. So like, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the ball is lost in the weeds again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good shit. Oh man. Uh, I want to see if my headphones are making the pop. Will you hear any popping now? No, okay. there hasn't been no. popping in quite some time. Let me check the chat and see if anyone else has heard the mysterious popping. And while, while we are at it, has anybody seen the chemtrails? <laughs> I'm sorry, did I say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> like life, show up. Oh, thanks from Santa Cruz, California. I can't wait to come back. Thanks. For, oh, that. Oh my God. Natalia Zuckerman has played the cafe. I know she, she, oh. she is. She, oh, 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 that's a beautiful All right. thing. All right. Pamela means give us some love here. I guess I'll do the gay stuff. <laughs> um, I remember you used to experiment with, um, alternate tunings long before I did and you would pick up my guitar and put it in a tuning to play something and then hand it back and I'd be like I don't know what's going on put it back put it back in regular tuning fix it <laughs> and uh, so this song is an open C thank you very much I growed this is from uh, an album called Plain Field. This is a solo acoustic record, and this is the first track on it. So I hope there's no pa no no more popping, but I'm sure you'll all let me know in the chat. <laughs> ah, I'm also playing this for Zinn, but in a different way because Zinn likes this one. And my dad, he used to like. He used to come see me play at Summerfest and I'd play Summerfest in Milwaukee. And I'd be like, one time I'd be like, Dad, did you ever listen to that really touching song I wrote for you? And he'd be like, ah, ah. And then he'd say, I like it when you play fast. So. This is called Black Bear, I hope, with no popping. <clears throat> Dating me a black girl, I had to hide my heart. Poker to the nuts, but had me in disregard. Wood witty white women rested back control. A twist and contortionism took its toll. Black bear gone. Black bear boogie on, boogie on. I dated many men a long, long time ago. All I say, I ain't doing that no more. My guitar, don't back talk or lie. I'm a little player and she's my guide. Black Bear. 
Black Bear, a boogie on. Black Bear, a go. Black Bear, a boogie on, on, boogie on. song what a wicked cool song yeah i love that tune i you know there's a bear that lives in my neighborhood now uh i've seen it only once mabel and i were out on a walk and and uh in uh maybe uh september at about seven in the morning and the thing just walked out from between two houses across the street uh, but our neighbors across the street, Jason and, and Latanya, they have footage of the bear just walking in front of our house. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, and, and someone joined like the Northampton, uh, um, uh, the, the Northampton sort of neighbors thing. And they said, Hey, what did we do about this bear? And then, and people got on the chat and said, take video. Uh, <laughs> Give space. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I was going to think, I was for a second, I was like, Pete, are you sure it's not some sort of chemtrail thing? You might need to just squeegee <laughs> back on that. No, they, they, they talk they, back a little, pal. I also, I, I've noticed this, like one of the many beauties of, well, you have a dog, you have a beagle, what is a beagle terrier mix? Mr. I do. Great memory. Yeah. We think of him as a barrier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Against what I don't know, but he's great. When, yes, I love when you're out walking. Like there are, uh, you know, there are a lot of woods in the town that we live in, and and you're out walking and you see clearly where a deer or some creature has bedded down, and the dog just goes like, "Oh, I gotta sniff this. I gotta sniff all of this. I gotta sniff. I gotta be sure to sniff the <laughs> the, the the place where the butt of the creature might have been." <laughs> 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 All right, let that let that let that be the intro to your song, Willie. <laughs> well, the, the amount <laughs> the amount of editing my brain is doing right now is really incredible. Oh, it's good. really it's yeah, it's clamping down so hard on so many things I could have said, and I've just I just want you to I want to get some credit for what I didn't say. <laughs> um, that's it. Thank you. All right, we salute you. All right, thank Take you. Take it away. <laughs> Definitely a Wisconsin song, but written with a man from New Hampshire, Mr. Tom Pirazzoli, who I just can't give enough love to. Uh, this is called Fish and Shack. I got a pickup truck and a fishing hut. It's a 20 mile ride to the secret spot, huh? Mm -hmm. Gone is summer, but the fish I run, the fish I run to this ass I'm sitting on. Mm -hmm. 
Three feet of ice out on the lake, now a tackle box on my knee. Got nine volt socks, a dozen tip ups, stove that's burning kerosene. I can't hear nobody calling. I can't hear nobody calling. I can't hear nobody calling. Just the wind through the cracks of my fishing shack. How we end bug got the shack next to mine. I cannot fish him, it's a matter of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I'm lucky, a muskie, a walleye, or trout gonna throw in my line, mama, wait them all out. Got shiners and minnows and a waxworm twist. No God fearing fish could ever resist. I got a sawdust floor, hand rolled cigarette, and my blackberry brandy. It ain't froze yet. I can't hear nobody calling. I can't hear nobody calling. I can't hear nobody calling. Just the wind through the cracks of my fishing shed. The shack of mine blocks out the light. The sun trap below makes the water glow. In the hole. What a strange phenomenon that is. I was sitting there one day, and there was a little six year old kid who was fishing right next to me. And I said, You know, do you understand any, sir, do you have any description or explanation for why the light seems to come up from the hole like that? It seems like it's glowing. And without blinking, this kid just looked at me and he said, You see how it is, mister? All those fish down there that you're not catching, they have every flashlight that you've ever owned and lost. And they're all down there at the bottom and they're shining the light up at the hole as if to tell you, you still will not catch us today no matter how much you try you will not catch us today and I said, wow that makes a lot of sense and the kids it's all fact mister and i said you should run for office and he said i'm thinking about it i can't hear nobody calling i can't hear nobody calling It's the truth, though it sounds like a lie. I swear it's the truth, though it sounds like a lie. Yes, it does. I sprained my wrist and broke my pole on a lunker too big to pull through the hole. I can't hear nobody calling. I can't hear nobody calling. I can't hear nobody calling. Just the wind. Got a pickup truck and a pick and pickup truck. It's a 20 mile ride to the seat spot. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. I was busy singing back up. You're, I can't hear nobody that's, come. Can't hear nobody that, come. That's the hardest part of this whole thing is that you guys are so great that these songs would be almost tolerable <laughs> if I could get you guys to play on them. You know it's what the, I mean? It is the thing that I miss the most. It is. It really is. Just like playing music with another person. We we did a we did some lamp lighting sessions at the at Club Passim back in late October and cases were low enough that we decided. So we all like got COVID tests and we all, you know, quarantined as best we could leading up to it. And we masked up, but we played music in a room together. And that's it. Like those two days were the only times that I have played music in a room with other people since March. And I, I, you know, I almost, I almost cried. It's so tough. You know, like it was so beautiful. I missed that. Oh God.
Well, I keep leaning in because I want to see you guys closer. <laughs> right? <Exactly. laughs> you know, like, you know, it's a funny thing. Oh. What do you awful. have? Uh, yeah. I just want to say this is this is special to have this gig and to have an audience um, ah. because we've you you fellas understand we've had to go a long time without applause on yeah. <laughs> since the shutdown so yeah we're getting some of our needs met i believe yeah year. my god <laughs> yeah oh. indeed well here this is our final round i can't believe that they went by this quick but uh mm. this is the final round so um i should say before we go uh, uh into this round that tomorrow we're going to repeat this uh, with myself and Christopher Porterfield, Chris Porterfield of Field Report and Katie Dahl from Door County. And then on Saturday on the Cafe Carp Facebook page only, uh, it'll be Corky Siegel and Randy Sabine, a couple of great, great musicians, uh, har uh, harmonica and uh, uh, violin and amazing songs. And then Sunday morning, it'll be myself and Bill Camplin and David Goodrich. And wow. then Sunday evening, we close this out with Sister Strings and Paul Seabar and myself. So we got a weekend of lamp lighting. Uh, and then Monday is the darkest day of 2020. And it gets lighter uh, beginning on Tuesday, uh, on the 22nd of December. So I don't and forget the great conjunction Monday night. Is that Monday night? Yep, the 21st. Uh, do you know about this, Willie? Uh, I don't. Saturn and Jupiter uh, are so close from our view that they almost seem to form one big star, and it hasn't happened since the for eight hundred years since the year twelve thirty six or something around there. Which is well, when well, Bill Camplin was born. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we all needed another excuse to get naked and go outside, now we have it. Amen. <laughs> you know. All right. Well, I'm going to kick this round off with a song that Willie Porter taught me at the Lamplighter Sessions at the Cafe Carp maybe 12 years ago. Uh, this is a Leonard Cohen song. And uh, Leonard Cohen was uh, smart enough to, to leave this, uh, this particular astral plane. Everybody knows that you get to live forever. Once 
once you've done a line or two Everybody knows that the whole thing's rotten Oh, back to Joe Still picking cotton for a ribbons and a bow Everybody Yay, bravo. <laughs> Love yeah. that big power chord rock ending. That was hot. That's right. That's, it, 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 it. <laughs> that was really ah. Yeah, just too much metal for one <clears throat> hand. That's right. Oh Love God. It. God, I remember. I remember I like I I I heard that tune. I heard you do that tune, Willie, and I was like, okay, I'm doing that tune. And you bequeathed it to me. There was an actual bequeathing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I think it's it's a beautiful thing that it's it still sounds like you. And I think oh. that's such a cool thing. Like you found a space within it to be yourself. And that's just such a tricky thing with a cover, you know? It is. It is. I know. It's like trying on somebody else's fake mustache. <laughs> it is, man. what did you say about your dog's breath that was so good because i went up and checked in with my dog and i think he shares the same affliction hot dead shrimp thank you hot yeah <laughs> yes i got that from my manager he he has this uh beautiful little uh uh boston terrier named harriet and she's got one eye <laughs> you know like one very bug eye and then like yeah just foulness just <laughs> oh it's just radiating <laughs> yes <laughs> all right let that be the intro to pamela's song what do you, oh. <laughs> what, do you what do you got for us uh i have this is my one of my songs about milwaukee um not in the most flattering light but <laughs> i wanted to say that it's a, a special privilege to share this uh, this bill with you gentlemen. And you are both my heroes for different reasons. Well, some crossover reasons. Peter, you've been my friend for a good couple of months now. <laughs> and you, you hear all my sorrows, all my joys, all my sorrows. You've been my friend for so many years and I love you. Uh, Willie. Uh, hopefully you will never see me cry. You haven't yet, but I want to know. I want to say that you helped um, inspire me by giving me uh, uh, confidence early on 
one of my first bar gigs was opening for Willie Porter at this little place called the Celebrity Club in Milwaukee. And that was one of my first bar gigs. And um, Willie gave me 20 bucks at the end of my set. He's like, here you go, Pella. And I was like, yes, that's $5 a song. I'll be fucking rich. I appreciate your prescience at that time. So this is called Color of the Skin. And uh, it's on my new record with this project of two other women, Cinnamon Blair on bass, Aisha on percussion, and they both sing with me. And Pamela Means in the Reparations, live at North Fire. I hope we can all do this in person and I can see in your faces. I, I was disappointed not to see the fun fact that Pamela Means travels with a portable space heater when she's on the road. I have four of them in case one breaks down. My father grew up in Jim Crow, Tennessee, a sharecropper's son far from luxury. Moved up north in 1952 in a damn thing changed from his point of view. His point of view. Now I've been pulled over on a shorewood shoulder, asked where you're going, where you've been. Ain't none of your, ain't none of your business Don't I look like an American? You're gonna think what you want now, don't you? I didn't know the side of the road was a courtroom Everything dark comes out in the light We keep marching on, but our souls are tired Cause here we are again, here we are again A black man gone cause of the color of his skin The color of his skin I was grown and groomed in the Great Lakes Midwest where politeness covers up years of repressed tight lips, tight asses, too slow to grow, hypersegregated masses, and I had to go. Seen the Rodney King of riots in 1992 A black president, I seen that too But ain't a damn thing changed from my point of view Ain't a damn thing changed from my point of view My point of view Everything dark comes out in the light We keep marching on, but our souls are tired Cause here we are again, here we are again A black child gone cause of the color of her skin Everything dark comes out in the light We keep marching on, but our souls are tired Cause here we are again, here we are again A black child gone cause of the color the skin, the color of the skin, the color of our skin, the color of the skin. Wow, 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 <laughs> wow, oh. wow, America. 2020. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Oh, fantastic. Pamela, did I really only pay you 20 bucks? You sure was did. I that guy? <laughs> I, must have been, I think the band was probably playing for beer money or something. I don't know. 
Yeah, but hey, this, I got this, paid. You know, this was I mean? ninety one. I <laughs> know we were such we were such <laughs> like sleeping on everybody's floor, and even Gas though we were in our bucket. hometown, <laughs> right? <laughs> Gas was a buck and a quarter. Right. Oh, I mean, right. I did calculate. It was a big gig at the time. It was five bucks a song. And you multiply that times a lifetime. You know, I've done That's pretty right. well. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I love it. I love it. I love you, too. It's so good to see you. And Peter, love thank you, you for oh. just creating this, uh, this great opportunity for all of us. And thank you to the Cafe Carp. Yes. That has supported musicians and lost puppies for years, you know? Yeah, um, full on. Yeah. Oh, I miss that place. Oh, I know it. Me too. Uh, you know, I a friend of mine who, it looks like she was in the stream earlier or just checked in. Natalia Zuckerman told me that Jews get to get together on Christmas Day and Chinese food. And that made me really jealous. Yeah. You know? That's a good move. Um, it's a power move. And, <laughs> you know, I, this next tune is just a song. I mean, you know, we get to this, the holiday thing and we get the, you know, we get the marketing bug biting us in the, on the tail and all that. But it's, I just want to be a part of the, of all the rapture stuff, all the good stuff, you know, whatever that is. You know, I was up in Canada a couple of years ago, post 9-11, and people were mudsliding naked in broad daylight. And the police were like, well, this is Canada. This is what we do. And I thought, <laughs> well, when do we get the good parts of our culture back? When do we get back to celebrating what's great about each other and not looking at each other in a divisive way? And so, um, yeah, so I'm going to get some Chinese food on <laughs> Christmas day. I'm going to get a, I'm, yeah, I want to be a part of that party. Oh, we're doing you guys that. have any thoughts on that? Yeah. yeah. I, that is actually the plan. We're getting Chinese food and then we're watching Wonder Woman. <laughs> oh, I, I was with you last year for the Chinese. I know. Food. I know. The Great Wall of China here in Florence, <laughs> Mass. <laughs> I'll be right over. All right. Excellent. So well, I'm us taking home. us out with this one. All right. Yeah. Man. Take us home. Thank you. Great to see you guys. We'll Great come back at the you. end and we'll come back at the end and do a virtual group hug, but take us home musically. Okay. All right. There's a thread of light across the sky, and as a vapor trail, testing all the work of God, I feel my heart set sail. Like a mariner in a sea of soul, the ragged nets are full. But I won't be loved by fools. Gold over love's magnetic pole. No, love's magnetic pole. I give up. I give up. I give my heart up. On the boat, I hear the children say, Every day is a holiday, every day is a holiday. I miss my father, do you miss yours too? I wonder what they'd say. They try to warn us we're about to slip. They say, slow down now, loosen your grip. After all we've lost and all we've gained, the charity still remains. I like to think we're getting better every day. Giving a little more love away. Giving a little more away. I give up. I give up. Give my heart up to me On the board I hear the children say Every day is a holiday Every day is a holiday It's blood and bone 
truth I've known of this fragile animation it ties me to you, you to me. God, it was good to hang with you guys. It was good to see all the audience in the chat. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for uh, taking care of us through all this craziness. We love it. Oh, Chris Wagoner. I know. I just saw that. Shout out. Wagon from, train. Yeah. Common faces. Oh, my oh. God. Whoo. All right. Woo. Well, thank <laughs> you. Thank you, everyone, for the time. Remember the Cafe Carp. Remember us artists. And remember, you know, remember everyone that needs taken care of over these dark days. Uh, take care of yourselves. And if you've got some spare bandwidth, take care of other people. Uh, Willie, Pamela, I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll see you when I look at you. This will be up. Uh, this uh, live stream will be up on all our Facebook pages, probably to the middle of tomorrow. And then we'll take it down and clear the stage for tomorrow night's show. So. Everybody take care, sleep good, and uh, yeah, don't eat the yellow snow. <laughs> <laughs> Be well, you guys. Thank you. All right. Take Thank care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.